Are we going to see the same Marc Marquez on the bike again? Is he still capable of winning another world championship? Maybe even more. Why he suffers with so many injuries in recent years? Is it worth it to keep pushing so hard? And why longevity is the hardest achievement in professional sports? Let's board the game. Recently, six times MotoGP world champion Marc Marquez had another horrific crash, even before the start of the race in Indonesia. So it's not a surprise, as a consequence, he was again suffering from double vision, or diplopia, after he had the same problem in the past and was then warned by his doctors that another bad incident can lead to an impaired vision for the rest of his life. It's a condition that needs a lot of time to heal, and still there is no guarantee about it. Probably you will say at some point he will be okay, it's just another injury. But it's not so simple, even if right now he seems okay declaring he's going to race at one of his favorite tracks in Austin, Texas. But in case of another incident, we're talking about a possible career-ending trauma. And that's the main reason why many are already suggesting even retirement. Because no matter his other horrible injuries in the last two years, when we are talking about vision in motorcycle racing with well over 300 km per hour, without it being perfect, you just don't have a place and a future on the track. But I'm not so radical with my conclusions. He is still only 29 and has enough time to recover properly. But does he really have that time? Think about tennis. Star players like Nadal, Federer and Djokovic can take even a whole year off to recover. Then they come back and win tournaments again. But no way that's happening in MotoGP. The competition in motorcycle racing is so fierce that missing a season may mean the end of your career. Right now Marquez is in the place of Rossi when the Spaniard first came to MotoGP. Marquez is seeing younger lads like Quartararo, Banyaya, Juan Mir, Jorge Martin and many others moving fast through their development and challenging not only for race wins but also for the world title. Now you have your answer why he suffered with so many injuries in the past two years. Every time, despite not fully healed, he rushed his return to the track, coping with pain and discomfort, to try and prove again that he is still one of the best. When taking such bold decisions though, you need also the luck on your side. To cover you during the time in which, while already competing, you are still recovering. And luck has not been the best friend of Marc Marquez in all his recent comebacks. Every time he looked solid, but with everyday pain on the bike, at some point there comes another mistake, another crash or just a misfortunate incident. And there you have one more injury. But one plus another plus another one and another one, when the injuries add up and you're rushing through your recovery, the risk is getting bigger and bigger. And why he needs to risk so much when on the bike? The answer is hidden in his riding style. Because of his small size, he is only 169cm tall, since early age Marquez needed to adapt and accomplish an extreme riding style. With the desire to ride these big and powerful machines and, of course, to be the best, he is constantly riding not on the limit, but even over it. Fair enough, but in the long term it's extremely hard to be constantly doing it. So now the question is, can he adapt a new riding style, maybe more conservative, still capable of winning, but at the end preserving himself from any other tough injuries, which may have an impact on the rest of his life. Still, you can't just say his style is ruining him. Look at everything he has achieved with it. Eight times world champion, six of them in the premier class MotoGP, four in a row between 2016 and 2019. He is also the youngest champ, winning even before his 21st birthday. After that, 85 wins, from which 59 came in 143 MotoGP races. That means an astonishing winning percentage of 41, plus 62 pole positions and 59 fastest laps. Absolutely insane numbers. But with all his problems, even on 29, we have another example why longevity is the hardest thing in racing. Something Rossi achieved, even with a safer style and average performances in his last seasons but he was on the bike, around the best, still fighting and keeping himself away from nasty injuries. For now, we can only hope Marc Marquez will also be able to ride at 42. We wish him all the best. 
Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time in Board the Game.